We're all familiar with that reading from the Acts of the Apostles, the very dramatic conversion of St. Paul, Saul to Paul, actually. We see how he was a, one of the strongest persecutors of the Christians, and God intervenes in his life to turn the evil he's doing around to doing good, just the opposite of what he's doing. So he who was willing to imprison and even kill the Christians now becomes their greatest advocate and becomes the author of several books in the scriptures. God uses people to do to accomplish what he wants accomplished. Reminds me of the story about the woman who was very devout and prayed out loud in her apartment every day so that the man who lived next door to her could hear her. And one day she was praying real loud, saying, Lord, you bless me always and you always help me, but I have no food in my house and I'm so hungry. Please help me to find some food. Well, a little while later, this guy thought I'll show her something. So he went over and he put a loaf of bread in front of her door and then he knocked on the door and ran back into his own apartment. He's in there listening and she says, oh Lord, Lord, you always help me, even if you use the devil to do it. <laughs> I think of that story with Saul, that he kind of used the devil in order to bring about some good. And, and the, Lord, um, the Lord loves us so much that he goes out of his way. Reading about Damascus, I don't know about you, but I'm thinking how Damascus seems to be in the news every day with all of the killing and the fighting and the war that's going on there. And we see that um, even though Jesus himself walked that land and St. Paul walked that land, human beings still reject him. And we must persevere as a church to bring about the knowledge of Christ to people everywhere, and especially in the Holy Land, we should pray. In the gospel, Jesus reminds us that he's the bread of, the, bread of life. He's the way, the truth, and the life. There's no, there's no way without going with Jesus. There's no life without Jesus. There's no truth without knowing Jesus. He's the way, the truth, and the life. And he gives us his body and blood, his flesh to eat for, to guide us on our journey. We're all on a journey like, like St. Paul was. We are all on the journey to eternal life. And Jesus is with us, guiding us and caring for us and even giving us his body and blood as food for the journey. So today, again, in the Easter season, we rejoice that the Lord has risen from the dead, that he's promised us eternal life, and that each day of our lives, there's going to be suffering and difficulties, but with the Lord accompanying us, we can accomplish all things. Let us stand and offer our prayers and petitions.